What is up, YouTube? It's me, John Avenger, again, and welcome back to Sci-Fi Month. This is a review number three. This is of a 1984 uh, science fiction comedy that came out uh, during the heyday of, you know, the Star Wars sequels and before Spaceballs and a bunch of other stuff. And this is an awesome movie. I saw this last year, and I thought it was a great experience. I saw it on TCM. I got the DVD for four cents. I'm not even kidding. Brand new. The Ice Pirates. Yes, this is an awesome freaking movie it's perfect for this month it's a uh it, it, i'll read the back for you guys because you know i normally don't read the back have an ice day yeah there's a nice pun it's a part it's a parched future and water the galaxy's only valuable commodity is controlled by the evil templars their only foes a handful of daring ice pirates spoofy goofy comedy otherworldly effect special effects spectacular space creatures Bread wrangled bots and bicep rippling swashbuckling, swishbuckling when our heroes try to blend in with some slave eunuchs, highlights this cult favorite. Uh, Robert Urich, Mary Crosby, Angelica Houston, and Ron Perlman romp through a storyline involving a determined princess, the search for her missing father, and a lost planet awash in sweet water. The manic concluding time warp battle is just the icing on the intergalactic cake. Dig in. I agree with that. All that, that's basically the synopsis of this awesome freaking movie. Basically, I called it the Guardians of the Galaxy of the 1980s, just with a smaller budget and a, uh, a, a pretty much a, you know, a B-list cast, but they do very well. Well, Angelica Houston and Ron Perlman are, are still A-list to me. But this movie did a lot of things right. I mean, I love the visuals of the film. I love the cast. Robert Urich, rest in peace, sir. I miss him. He was a great lead in this movie. Uh, Mary Crosby, gorgeous woman. She's a tough princess, kind of like Princess Leia. And, uh, you know, th 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 this film is a PG movie, and it has one of the probably the most artsy sex scenes I've ever seen in my life, which doesn't involve any nudity of any kind. It's just visual sensuality at its finest, and it's really well done. So I really wouldn't recommend it to, to young children because there might be some things not for them. There, there's a, a, a vehicle scene that's kind of like Mad Max, the original, and or Road Warrior. I'm not talking about that new film. And uh, the film is, is a very fast-paced film. It's 94 minutes long. It's not two and a half hours like some of the sci-fi movies we get today. The creatures look amazing. There's a lot of familiar faces in the movie. There's this machine that tries to castrate the... Uh, Robert Urich and the black guy. I don't forgot his name, but and that that's really crazy. It's like they would do that in a PG movie, a machine that tries to castrate them. But it's all in good fun. It's just a joke. And the space herpes. I can't forget about that. They're these little things that try to that get on the ship and try to attach themselves to the to the crew. And uh, yeah, they they really really done practical effects. I cannot say enough praise about the effects. See, you don't need $200 million to make a fun movie. And this movie is a cult classic that I really enjoy. I uh, I really just love this film. I think it's one of the best 80s sci-fi comedies I've seen in a long time. Uh, it's well-directed. It's really well-written, you know, for, for its time. And uh, it has a bunch of familiar faces. John Matusak, he was in uh, Sloth in uh, The Goonies. And he did this other film I saw on YouTube. A couple years ago and uh if you never heard of this movie watch it this is very cheap on amazon you can watch it online for free or uh, you know just just look for it this is movie is it was well worth it and, I, and the fact that i got this for four cents i lit up like a candle i'm like oh my god i got this i thought i was gonna pay five dollars but no i got the pie i bought it at toys r us for four cents best deal i've ever gotten in toys r us and i will never forget how much I, this movie meant to me because, you know, I love science fiction. It's my favorite genre of all time. And this is one of the best sci-fi comedies before Guardians of the Galaxy and before the Avengers and before Spaceballs because this was in 1984, I believe. Yeah. And I would have loved if this was a franchise. If they had done two sequels, I you know, it would have been a nice trilogy. But I could see this and then Guardians of the Galaxy and it's a great double bill. And, uh, you know... It's a fun movie. Just give it a watch. This is an excellent uh, 80s comedy that is fine. It's better than any comedies that are going to come out this year. I guarantee it. Because this has practical effects. No crappy CGI. 
The cast is trying. There's a witty script. There's a lot of good visual effects. It's a fun adventure in space, and it flows very well, and I think it's very, very well done. And, uh, you know, DVD or Blu-ray, I wish this had gotten a special edition. If Shout Factory could have, you know, re-released this and give it a special edition, I would love that. And, uh, you know, it's it's a great film. I love this film. I want to see it again because it just it, it puts a smile on my face. And uh, this uh, this uh, critic said, rollicking parody of Space Adventures. And I agree. It's a parody without having to reference like 15 movies from the past, which is always nice. And this is a really fun movie. So give it a watch. The Ice Pirates. I remember in the Sausage Factory they mentioned this. It's so bad it's good. I don't see it that way. I see it as a really, really well done space adventure. And just, you know, I would put it up there with some, with the Star Wars prequels. Just on the level of fun that I had. Especially with the third one. But that's The Ice Pirates for Sci-Fi Month. The review number three. An 80s cult classic that I love. And uh, I hope you guys watch it sometime. I know it's an obscure film. I'm going to review a lot of obscure sci-fi movies as well on this channel because that's how I roll. So thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. You guys are awesome. You've been leaving comments on my videos. Some of them I can take or leave, but the the good when it's well done, when it's well spoken, you know, conversations, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the thumbs up and the, and the uh, views. It's always nice, especially during the winter. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.